Good morning. Welcome back to another beautiful day on the Finca. On with the kennel. As you can see, we have a little bit of cloud. Often there's a little bit of respite from the sun this morning. Um, it's supposed to be clear blue skies this afternoon. So, uh, Scorchio again. Um, this weekend it's forecast to be 40 degrees C. Um, which is 104 Fahrenheit. Oh um, it's not uncommon to get temperatures like that, even higher here, but it's really not what we need at the moment, especially as we're working outside trying to get animal enclosures and stuff like this done. But at least today we're going to crack on and get this done. We've got our felt, yep. we've got our roofing felt adhesive, I've got my long straight edge to cut it with, Stanley knife, nails and a tape. All we need is a hammer <laughs> to knock the nails in with, unless you want to head them in. <laughs> right, so let's get on with it. So the first thing we're going to do is cut the felt. We're going to measure it. <laughs> um, what we want is 2540. So we'll have to slide it up this way a little bit. That's it. If you can hold that on there, make sure there's no... Should ideally do it on um, a big piece of wood, but we haven't got one big enough. We've only got this. <laughs> okay. Um, stick it on the edge, actually, for better. Okay, so we want it's two five meters. We want twenty mil either side, so we want two five forty which is there and on the other end yeah two five four is there okay flies on it already and if we can just slide it up a bit that's it take our straight edge Line it to our mark. And cut. But you can't hear that, but we've got the local goat herd out this morning. With the bells and the he's shouting and the Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So I need two more of those, um, at least, so we'll cut them. We won't bore you to death with the details, but that's how we do it. So we've just discovered three, three pieces isn't going to be enough. Um, so we're going to have to cut this one in half, lengthways, and that'll make up the extra bit that we need. Typical, isn't it? Typical. Alright, so we're all cut, ready to go on. Um, we need to paint it with this first I don't know if we're painting the roof or the thing I'm going to read the instructions um, so we just need a brush and something to open the tin with right so that makes the job a bit easier um, I've just read the instructions <laughs> um, apparently the felt is to bond um, the layers of felt together so basically we just nail the first one on and um, and then from there just bond the overlap the joint and then carry on up so that's pretty easy um, when you're roofing always start at the bottom <laughs> so when your next one sits over the top of it so when the water runs down you know what I mean it doesn't because you put them the other way up it'll just run inside it even if it's bonded I'm sure all right so with precision positions the felt We've got a 20 mil overlap basically all the way around, which we're going to fold over to do our sides. And we're just going to whack some nails in it to hold it in place so it don't move.
shouldn't come through because they're 20 mil nails and it's 18 mil board. What we want to try and avoid is nailing through the surface that's going to have bitumen over it, the adhesive stuff but we don't want to really nail through it, what we're going to do is bend it over and then nail all down the sides so we'll crack on and get that done Right, so we've done down this side and now we get to a corner um, obviously we want to keep them neat and I don't put a 45 degree on them I just put a straight like that tuck him down there and then over we go, we've got a nice neat corner you can see that so I've nailed that in and then we just carry on down here it says every 50 millimeters you're supposed to do them two inches I'm not measuring them, I'm just guessing them because uh, <laughs> I ain't got time we're already weeks behind with this project um, so yeah, we just carry on like this all the way along the back. It's going to take a while, especially with my being all thumbs. And then we'll come back to you when we've done it. Right, so uh, we've got the first piece on. We're now going to um, apply the bitumen adhesive for the second one. We're going to have about 100 mil or four inch overlap between our two felts. So that's what I'm going to do there. And I'm also going to run onto the wood a bit to make sure we've got a super good seal. And I'm going to start in it right over there as far as I can. Oh! Super thick stuff this is. Slap it on. What this does, when you put your nails through as well, it stops it from leaking where you've made a hole in the felt. Oh, that's a theory anyway. Do that other bit and then we'll get the felt on. Right now we can get the next the next piece of felt on. Here it is. I'll start this end, I think. I think. The difficulty is getting it in position. <coughs> getting it squarish. Check your overlap, is it alright? Just get a couple of nails in that just to hold it where we want it. Through the bitumen. Thank you. 
super. Right, we'll get it nailed on. So I've done across there. Um, just doing up the sides now. There's no quick way of doing it. So that's the second one on. We're going to repeat the process again now with the third one and then just make up our top right at the end. So let's get the next one on. Okay, so on the top bit, um, the, the other bits we've got weren't long enough to go because the, the roll was 10 meters and this was 2.54 so that four times three has left us short but i'm just going to put two pieces on one there and then just put the other one over the top may as well use it all up um so we need a flies are diving as crazy this morning um and lay a bitumen on here at least it's easy to get to um so let's get it done It's thick stuff. I just had a thought actually. Yeah, I'm going to do it a bit lower down. Um, because Rather than cut it, we may as well stick it over the top. If that makes sense. <laughs> Is that straight? I yeah. can't tell from here. Yeah, it's all right. Okay. And we just roll it out. Just checking we've got enough on our edge to get a nice. That's pretty good. Pretty good. See, it's, it's an inch and a half short. <laughs> That's typical, that, isn't it? So we'll just put, I don't know, piece on there. I don't know yet. We'll see how we go. Okay, let's get it nailed on. So we're just going to put a small piece on this end um, and not put any nails in the side so hopefully you won't even be able to see that it's there. We're just doing it now so we'll have a go. and get it in the right position. That's pretty good, I think. Okay, we'll have one here because we've got a row of nails there already. It may or may not work, if not we'll have to add something to it after. Oh, I get it. We can always put a line of bitumen on top of it. I don't really want to do that, so we'll just put um, a piece of timber or something on top of it and just weight it down and see what it dries like. Right, so what we've done, slapped all of that bitumen on the joint and just put a weight on it and um, hopefully that will stick, if not we'll think of something else. Um, but there's that much on it anyway, It's not water's not going to leak in, I just don't want it lifting. So this is the last corner 
and the dog chalet is done ah, a momentous occasion one in there can we have a drum roll for the last nail fantastic voila Yay. it's done well done Right, so I've forgotten the. So now the dog um, chalet is finished. <laughs> Ready for two dogs. All we've got to do is get a fence up here now. I chased up my mum from my fence post and the stuff last night. I've still not heard back from them. So hopefully I'll hear something today. So there it is, the finished article. How splendid does that look? And what lucky dogs we've got. I hope they appreciate it. So if you remember, a um, couple of weeks ago, well, 10 days ago now, we, we, we're always impatient. We picked our garlic and we hung it up here. Then we had to move it outside because it was attracting tons of flies. Um, we're now, I've done these already, but just preparing them, we've, we've dried them out, preparing them for storage. So all we do is chop off the roots. Which is easier said than done. Of course, I picked the hardest one when the camera's on. And then, of course, the stem. And all the loose stuff just falls off, and we end up with beautiful. They're not massive, um, but it was just some organic shop bought stuff. But we've selected a couple of big bulbs, and we're going to plant the biggest cloves this year to hopefully give us bigger garlic next year but for a first year first try we're pretty happy with that so there it is um what's that two four six seven eight seven seven medium bulbs and a couple of small ones we've kept the two biggest ones back we're going to plant them this year and probably put a couple of extras in as well um it tastes fantastic though, it's proper strong, proper sharp. So, Chef Andy is back in the kitchen. <laughs> um, we're going to put that garlic to good use, um, which we have here. Because we're going to make our famous, we'll call it Finca Dip. Perfect for your Doritos or what they call those. Tortillas. Tortillas, tortilla chip things. Um, so we've been, we've been out to the, the garden, we've got our garlic on the other day, we've picked a pepper, we've picked a couple of small onions that are never going to be ready because they, yeah, they should have been ready four months ago. So we're going to eat them anyway, and a bit of pepper and some tin tomatoes. So what we're going to do, um, finally chop the garlic, finally chop the pepper and finally chop the onions with the tomatoes, put them in the blender and smash them all up. So first of all, I'm going to chop up the garlic and the onions and the peppers. Right, so I've chopped the onions. Um, I'm going to put them in the blender because I've not got enough room on my cutting board. So they can go in there. My hands are clean. That is dried on bitumen that won't come off. So I don't, if I can't wash it off, it's not coming off on my onions. So there's two small onions in there, beautiful, beautiful, sweet, homegrown ones they are as well. We've just been tasting them. Um, next, the pepper, I'm going to do him. We've actually saved the seeds because um, we're going to grow them next year. They'll be our home saved seed for next season as peppers. And we're doing better with peppers by actually overwintering them because these are last year's peppers. This year's new ones haven't actually produced anything yet. They've got flowers on them but no fruit. So chop him up. The blend will do the rest. <laughs> can go in. Right now I'm going to finally chop the garlic up. So 
So I finally chopped the garlic. That's mm -hmm. going in there as well. Lovely, it's proper sticky stuff it is. Proper good garlic. Always a sign of good garlic if it's sticky. Right, so now I'm just going to go and whiz this, smash it up. So I'll come back to you in a second. Right, so that's lovely smashed up. Um, next, a bit of pepper in there. Ground black, whole peppercorns. Nothing coming out of there. Get the all bigger. That's it. <laughs> it's working now. So we've got a large tin of um, whole peeled plum tomatoes. It's about half full. Um, what I do, I always pour the juice off it, which you can have in your, your Bloody Mary later on. Um, because if you don't pour the juice off, they tend to get too too runny, the dip. So if you just use the tomatoes, oops, one was falling out there, um, you can always add a bit more juice later if you need to. Ah, flies, the flies. So they just go in there. Like a so. cell. That's a four. There's a bit more juice there. We'll get that in a minute. Um, I hope that's, <laughs> that's going to fit in my jar. So what we're doing now is smash this up. Smash it all to pieces. So here we go. So we're going to click it in. Going now. Mm -hmm. I think that'll do. There we go. Look at that. Right, we'll put it in the bottle and um, in the jar and taste it. Right, we're gonna try and get this in there. Ooh, look at that. Oh, yes. Perfect. Obviously, we're going to have to eat a bit of this now before we can close the lid fully. Um, but that won't be a problem. Hmm. So to try it. Why not? We'd like to try some of my dip. <laughs> Pinka dip. Try a bit. Oh, look at that. Mm. Mm. Mm, lovely. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Right, let's go and eat these then. Mm. Mm. Well, thank you for spending another day with us on The Thinker. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Um, we've had a great day. Still no fencing, fence posts. No, no um, news yet, but the kennel's finished. The kennel, the, the chalet, the dog finished. house. The, Absolutely fantastic. The dog luxury penthouse apartment suite. And in fact, <laughs> funny enough, we had a couple of visitors shortly after. A big mastin and another little dog. Um, we couldn't show you because the cats were absolutely terrified. So, um, yeah, I have to but I reckon they were sniffing around the chalet. I reckon they messes, fancied it. And Messi's a guy who used to live... Um, just near, he knows all the dogs and all the people. And apparently, these dogs follow the goat herd. Remember, we said about the goat herd earlier coming past. And um, well, apparently, these dogs follow the goat herd around to protect the herd. And they're always like, sort of a few, few minutes, you know, behind them or in front of them. So yeah, a bit of interesting snippet there. I'm not quite sure how it works. <laughs> But um, yeah, there you go. Yeah. So anyway, hopefully you're going to hear something off of my fence post man. So we need to get cracking on that now. Um, we can probably start digging the holes. Um, you know, I'll, I'll probably start that tomorrow. So at least when the stuff does come, you know, there's going to be no delay on that. Um, obviously, it depends on heat again with that intensive stuff. I mean, digger man, Eddie, um, he's actually, he's not here at the moment. He's not back until the 24th and we can't wait that long. No. So we're going to have to do a bit of manual labour on that one. Look forward to that. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you've enjoyed it and you're not currently a subscriber, please consider subscribing. It doesn't cost anything. Just click the button below and um, select 
all, the little bell check all to make sure you you don't miss any of our future videos thanks again and we'll see you tomorrow see you tomorrow